put a little pressure on it. Start from the bottom. Be real with yourself. Truth hurts sometimes. And then I need you to get the most that you can get out of it. The day is gone where you could just go to college and get out and, and get a job and work 30 or 40 years with job security and retire with a gold watch. The gold watch days are gone. And that's what I ask you. Where have you been? Where have you been up to this point? You look at your life. You look at what you produce. Is it giving you what you want? Are you living on purpose? Are you living your dream? Are you acting on your ideas? Are you doing all you can do? Have you gotten comfortable? Are you procrastinating? Are you invading your own greatness? Are you surrounding yourself with people that can nourish you? Are you challenging yourself? Are you experimenting? Are you learning something different? Is your life an adventure or is it boring? Where have you been? Why are you here? What brought you here? Investing the time, the money. What brought you here? And where are you going? What is it that you can get out of this session, out of this lecture? That when you leave here, rather than this just being a spectator event, that you've got some idea, some dream, that you might have to go back and brush it off and look at it again. And say, I've got to do this. This is my stuff. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is why I showed up. Where are you going with your life? What decisions are you making right now as you look into the future? And say that every day to yourself. It's possible. Because what does that do? See. It begins to change your belief system. See, the way in which we operate, ladies and gentlemen, it's a manifestation of what we believe, what's possible for us. Whatever you've done up to this point, all that it really is, is a duplication, it's a reproduction of what you believe subconsciously that you deserve and what's possible for your life. It's possible you've got some talents, some ideas in you, your ability to do some stuff that you haven't even discovered yet. And I'm suggesting that it's necessary that you get outside of your comfort zone. It's necessary that you develop some new relationships where you can learn from people. It's necessary that you do reading, that you do research. It's necessary if you're already involved in some business, that you don't be satisfied with where you are. If you want to make it today, it's necessary for you to constantly look at ways of getting better. There are winners, there are losers, and there are people who have not discovered how to win. That's right. How people look at you. How they respond to you. It's very hard. It's humiliating. You know what I discovered? When you're working at your dream, somebody said, the harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. Even though it's hard, it's worth it. It's worth it. So what is that something? You got an idea you want to move on. You might not have the money. You might not have the education. 
You might not have the support or the resources you need. What is that something that can keep us going, that will enable us to act on our grief? What's one of those keys that will begin to help us to discover the secrets to our dream? It's necessary that you have it, that you work on it, that you develop yourself, that you go for what is yours in the universe. The people who go after this stuff, what makes it worth it? It's got to be your passion. You got to love it, ladies and gentlemen. You got to love it. It's got to be what you are supposed to do. You do what it is you're supposed to. You're supposed to build something. You're supposed to create something. I don't know how to do it. Learn. Do whatever is required. Just go out there. It's possible you can get what you want. It's necessary. If you want it, you got to go into action. You got to be willing to experiment. You got to be willing to fail and to succeed. You got to be willing to form and to develop new relationships. It's you. It's on you. You got to make that happen. Nobody's going to bring it to you on a silver platter and say, "Here's your dream manifested." No, it's hard. Yes, it's hard. It's difficult. Yes, right. And it's worth it. I want you to understand and ask yourself at all times what's the reason you're doing or trying to do or saying you do what you do. Why go this far? Why try to learn this much? Why try to do it all? Why try to see it all? Why try to have it all? Why do it? Why learn it? Why study? Why put yourself out? Why try to take on this much responsibility? Why develop yourself to the full? Why try to become all that you can possibly become? Why try to earn as much as you can earn, share as much as you can share? Work on your list of whys. And remember, there's no such thing as bad luck, only lost opportunities. Never, absolutely never, sell yourself short. How do you get through uh, life or, or each day is the same thing. To me, there are three things we all should do every day. We do this every day of our life. You're going to have, what a wonderful, number one is laugh. You should laugh every day. Number two is think. You should spend some time in thought. And number three is you should have your emotions moved to tears. It could be happiness or joy. But think about it. If you laugh, you think, and you cry, that's a full day. That's a heck of a day. You do that seven days a week, you're gonna have something special. Whatever it is you want to accomplish or whatever it is you want to do, you literally have to see it first, all right? It doesn't start until you can visualize it. Remember, if you think you are weak, you are. If you think you are inadequate, you are. You win when you refuse to fight petty people. Fighting little people reduces you to their size. Stay big. Now's the chance to change. Process all this information. If you have nothing to look forward to except a lingering death, you might as well make the most of the little time you have left. No one wants to die. Even people who want to go to heaven don't want to die to get there. And yet, death is the destination we all share. No one has ever escaped it. And that is as it should be, because death is very likely the single best invention of life. It's life's change agent. It clears out the old to make way for the new. Right now, the new is you. But someday, not too long from now, you will truly become the old and be cleared away. Sorry to be so dramatic, but it's quite true. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. 
Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. Were the words, stay hungry, stay foolish. It was their farewell message as they signed off. Stay hungry, stay foolish.